Hello everybody, I'm Shadows and welcome to this video on the Isle slash Arima where we're going to be talking about update 3 um, what's going to be included uh, what are the new additions and when is it coming these are all the things we want to know so let's get into it so in this video we'll talk about the new updated roadmap so what's on the roadmap what it means and um, what the developers have been saying what is coming and when is it coming so we'll we'll take a good look at this roadmap now and and get into the individual bits and pieces so the roadmap's updated and we've got a few new things um first off <clears throat> we've got schooling of fish and we've got new elite fish along with updated Tyranodon and Dinosuchus um, sign-offs I suppose on the Trello update so we'll first off we'll look at the the schooling of fish and see what that means so let's have a good look so the schooling of fish basically what what it means is um, the fish will probably swim together in in like a school as we know um, if you're a land-based dinosaur they will be harder to catch than is it as if you were a, a water-based dinosaur like a Dinosuchus um, or semi-aquatic such as maybe a Spinosaurus. Um, it's got relevant uh, statistics to catching these fish as well. So um, the younger you are, the easier it is to catch these fish. I think it's zero to 50% um, is a lot easier. Whereas if you're an adult trying to catch these schoolings of fish, they'll start more easy. Um, again, all this is on Trello, so you can you can take a look at it as well. I'll I'll put it in the description. But yeah, if you if you're a large dinosaur and you try and catch this schooling of fish, just like in real life, they would swim away. <laughs> so they would swim away, and you wouldn't be able to catch them. Um, yeah, so that's that's the schooling of fish basically. This. This should make it easier for um, juveniles to, to get food if there is a lack of food around. Um, I'm assuming, obviously, it's going to make it a bit more deadly for like a Dinosuchus to come up and attack juvies. Whether that, that's what they're going to do, I don't know. But it, it definitely makes for some interesting gameplay for <coughs> aquatics and semi-aquatics and land-based dinosaurs. So, you know, imagine you're, I don't know, uh, like a baby Spinosaurus or a Suchomimus, for example. You're hungry, there's no food around, but there's a water source. You can head to the water source on the bank, um, try and get this school in a fish, but would there be a Dinosuchus in wait? Which could just lunge out with this new mechanic, because the Dinosuchus has got that, um, that grab mechanic, which I talked about in the last video, which could pull you in, drag you underwater, and essentially you'd be their food where you were going for food so it's interesting really interesting now the elite fish slightly well i say slightly a lot more different to the school in a fish which again the, all these are being added in and the elite fish will be one big big birther of a fish um we obviously they they're elites, so these are meant for the more adult dinosaurs rather than the juvies. So if they were coming to water, they'd go and take and track one of these because it says that you're supposed to track them, um, and they should fill up the adult dinosaurs such as the spinos, maybe a, a, a dino if it's swimming through. Um, potentially, I'm thinking these are going to be quite few and far between i couldn't imagine there being lots and lots of them throughout the river because they they're elite so i'm assuming these uh elite fish will be few and far between big mean ones um and be quite difficult to catch as well i'm assuming if you're you know like a land-based dinosaur like a Uteraptor, for example you're not going to be able to take on these elite fish or capture these elite fish because they'll be too fast they'll be too deep and they'll just be too difficult um so that's that's going to be interesting to see how that develops but again this is coming in update 3 so looking forward to this we also know that the pteranodon and dinosuchus are coming in this video as well so if you haven't already i go into detail on that and in my other video so check that one out but the pteranodon and the dinosuchus are coming they've updated the the roadmap as well so these will be on the, the screen so we can take a look at now so we know the dino is coming with this 
Um, I'm hoping the Dino will be... Obviously, all the dinosaurs have got their own tier system, like tier 1, 2, 3, etc. Carlos are tier 3. I'm hoping the Dino will be tier 4. I couldn't imagine it being like a tier 5 or high end, but I can imagine it being a tier 4. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to be big enough to take on Carnos, etc. Uh, and, you know, with, with this grab mechanic, you can grab these babies, you can grab these people coming into the water, because when this update gets released, obviously, you can have the schooling fish, which is in the update, you can have the Dinosuchus and the Pteranodon, um, where the Dinosuchus is going to be in the water, all these new players are going to be dashing to the water to find um, the fish, the elite fish, Dinosuchus will be there waiting to take these players out, so it's going to be interesting to see in this update. The Pteranodon's also been updated, so most of these things now are near enough completion. They've just got quality um, testing to be done, little bits here and there, and they should be done. So today, when I've recorded this deli uh, delivery, <laughs> this video is the 7th of January. Um, and they are hoping to release this update by the end of January, fingers crossed. If not, maybe I would say the first, maybe second week of Feb, but they're hoping to get it done for the end of January. So, fingers crossed we'll have this update for then. So, what are your thoughts and feelings? Do you think they're going to have it ready? Do you think they're not going to have it ready? Um, let me know what you think. Now, before I finish the video, I'd just like to say a massive thanks to all the recent subscribers which have um, supported my channel. Um, there's been so many over the past two to three weeks over Christmas and into the New Year. It's been great and my last video was well well received as well so I just want to say massive massive thanks it helps the channel out massively and um, if you did like the video um, give it give it a like and if you want to see more from me and you enjoyed my content um, I hope you consider subscribing because it does mean an awful lot to me and it helped me continue to grow and get these videos out there so more and more people see them as well and, and we help the dino community and um, so massive thanks for your support guys hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one shadows out